Hi everyone, my name is Jocelyn Tepec and I am a nurse practitioner with Sound Family Medicine. And one of the questions we have been receiving a lot lately is what are the different symptoms of coronavirus, influenza, the common cold, and allergies, and how do I know which one I have? So to start with, COVID-19 is typically seen with high fevers, about 103, 104, fatigue, body aches, not too many nasal symptoms. It's a lower respiratory infection, so you'll have that deep, dry cough with not a lot of mucus production. And sometimes there can even be some nausea and vomiting. The flu presents very similarly with the high fevers. There seems to be a bit more fatigue with that and some more nasal congestion as well. The common cold is a lot more milder than the first two, so fevers are sitting closer to about 100 or so, and there's more upper respiratory involvement. So cough that is productive with green or yellow sputum and some more nasal congestion as well. Allergies are very different than the first three. Typically we don't see a fever with allergies and there's a lot of upper respiratory and head involvement. So the cough, sneezing, itchy, runny nose and eyes, ear plugged, and also you can have the sinus involvement. So painful, full filling sinuses as well. If it's something that you have every year around the same time or you notice every time the season changes you get the same kind of cold, then that's a good clue that it's possibly allergies and not actually a cold. So for the coronavirus and for the flu, we have a lab test that we run to diagnose those. And for the common cold and the allergies, we base that off of the exam and the patient's symptoms and history to diagnose those. So because there's a lot of overlap in symptoms and it can be difficult to figure out exactly which one you're experiencing, it's always important to practice good hand hygiene and making sure that you're appropriately covering your mouth when you sneeze and cough, um, cleaning high contact surfaces, and limiting any kind of potential exposure and decreasing the likelihood that you would pass it on to someone else. So I hope that answers your question and is helpful, and I hope everyone is staying healthy out there. Thank you for listening.